Two quick updates before I get into the video. Firstly, I am trying to upload a magic video every single week for the next three months and a non-magic video a little bit later on in the week for the next three months. So two uploads a week. Hopefully that will go well. Just letting you know so that you know what's going on. Like to keep you in the loop. Like to keep you updated. There you go. And secondly, this uh, video is going to be me talking about me talking, ranting. It's going to be me chatting about being a street performer. And I know a lot of you are performers yourselves that watch my channel. So if you are interested in becoming a street performer, if you're thinking, hey, maybe that'd be cool. I've got a link in the description to uh, the mailing list that I've set up, which is basically where I answer questions about street performing. I email you about once a week going, hey, here's some tips about street performing. People seem to be really enjoying that. So if you want to get on that list, the link is where the links are. Those of you who have been watching my channel for a while will know that I am a street performer and that is the main way I make a living. I go out onto the street, I perform things, I do a little show, I hold out my hat at the end. That is my income. That is what allows me to survive in this lovely city that we call London. However, something that bothers me about doing this for a living is whenever I tell people I'm a street performer, they tend to be a bit like, oh, in almost like a bit of a pity kind of way. Like they sort of look down on you for doing it. And I think a lot of street performers get this. People just don't seem to see street performing as a very good job. And I don't want that pity because I actually really love being a street performer and today I'm going to clear up some little misconceptions about being a busker type person and we can do that right here right now. The first thing which kind of bothers me about this is that street performing is very much seen as the bottom of the entertainment ladder. It's like, oh celebrities, people on stage, people doing West End at the top and then all the way down various things to street performer which people just see as begging for coins and that could not be anywhere further away from the truth. I know a lot of street performers that love what they do and they choose to do that and they don't want to go and do a show indoors where it doesn't rain. They like being on the street performing and that is that is their goal. Now the barrier for entry is incredibly low. Anyone can go and be a street performer which means it's easy to get into but that doesn't mean that it's a low form of entertainment. The second thing a lot of people think which simply isn't true and this is one of the ones that bothers me way more than all the other misconceptions is that street performers aren't very good. I get this when I'm doing my show. I know that I'm, when I'm building an audience, they all just think he's not very good because he's on the street. Two of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life on the street was a man swallowing a sword and doing a series of backflips. I literally, I lost it. I was, I gasped and I was like, and the other thing is I saw a performer get somebody to put a match in their mouth, lean over a bit, and then they would like throw a yo-yo and it would hit the match and light the match without it coming out of the person's mouth. And I've seen a lot of performances on stage and that is some of the coolest stuff I have ever seen. And sometimes when I'm watching a stage show, if I'm watching a juggler, I kind of get the impression that they are a street performer because their act is so polished and every second in the act is so tight. And if I meet them afterwards, they're like, yeah, I used to do the street all the time, blah, blah, blah. I can't speak for everyone, but for me, I wasn't very good at stage performing, good at close-up, not very good at stage. Then I started doing street shows and I learned so much so fast. Not only that, but street performers naturally get more stage time, or I should say street time, than most performers because they're performing two or three or four shows every single day. So yeah, everyone being like, street performers aren't very good. I will give you this. Yeah, there's some terrible street performers. However, there's some really good, world-class, top-notch, awesome people doing some pretty great shows. And the final misconception, which is kind of understandable, is that people think that all street performers are really poor. Street performing more than most things has a huge sort of bracket of how much people earn. I know some street performers, they are pretty much or actually homeless and they are barely scraping by. And then I know other street performers that are actually doing really well. I've been living in London for a few years and I've never felt so financially secure than I have been since being a street performer. Did that sentence work? Part of the reasons for this is even though a street show is not gonna pay as much as a show in a theatre, I can go out and work whenever I like, I can perform a lot. And that is one of the cool things about street performing is that freedom, that sweet, sweet freedom of being able to work whenever I like, which is so nice and I really value that. Uh, getting onto a little bit of a tangent now, but I have started turning down like live performances a little bit more because I really enjoy doing street and I just love Everything about that. I love the community, I love the freedom, I love it when it rains during my show, maybe not that last one, but you get the idea. I'm not gonna pretend it's all rainbows and sunshine, quite literally, there are some negatives to being a street performer. As you can imagine, if it rains, that's not good. Raining during a show? Well, there goes the show. If the economy isn't doing bad, I think that street performers are one of the first industries to be hit because why would you tip a street performer when you're not doing very well yourself? It seems that that's like superfluous cash that you're not gonna be, you're not gonna give. You're gonna be less likely to give if things aren't going well. And it is very much seasonal work. I love it now when it's fairly sunny in England, but in the winter, I will probably be less cheerful about being a street performer. So yeah, there are drawbacks. I'm not shying away from those, but all in all, it is a pretty awesome way of living, I think. He says, gesturing like a politician. We will... something. I, I didn't have any comedy there. I was like, what's a funny joke? No jokes came to mind. Good. Nice. If that last part of the video didn't put you off and you are interested in becoming a street performer, get on that mailing list. I'll send you something nice that will be useful and then we'll, uh, we'll chat. 
and I'll do this gesture all the time. You'll just get this in your first email as a GIF, me doing this. Cool. Follow me on Twitter at Stephen Bridges. Thank you.